Welcome back everyone's the Bourbon Judge. I am excited for today's episode. So people reach out all the time like, hey Judge, you know, started my journey into whiskey. I started off like many people like in the lower proof, like, you know, like 90, 95 proof. I've now worked my way up to like, let's call it anywhere from like 100 to 105 proof. I'm ready to make the leap of faith into barrel strength whiskey. What do you recommend? People reach out all the time. Subscribers, patrons, um, friends of mine as well. It's like, you know what, it's probably time to do a good episode kind of related to this topic. So I'm gonna give you five different options of these are all barrel strength, so fully barrel strength, all cast strength, um, but they are on the, I would say, more of the approachable side. So what does that mean? Approachable side meaning like they're still barrel strength, but the proof on them is not, you know, 130, 140 proof. Uh, but then also, so they're probably close to like 115, 120 proof, but they are all pure barrel strength. Uh, number two, these are ones where I think they are a bit more approachable from a barrel strength option. So when you think of barrel strength, a lot of times people think of like ones that are very, just knock you out. And I'm, there are three that come to mind. Uh, number one, Elijah Craig barrel proof that is typically packing some punch. Number two, um, the old Stag Junior, or now it's just called Stag, but like that one, take you out. And then the last one, the number three that really takes you out, like I'm talking like, is a heavyweight um, in the barrel strength. Like when you sip it neat, you're like, wow, this is truly barrel strength. Like it puts a little hair on your chest, is uh, Jack Daniels single barrel barrel proof. All three of those, amazing, right? Absolutely amazing. But they are the heavyweights of cast strength options. So I'm gonna give you five different options that are all cast strength, but they're more approachable. And I'm gonna tell you the reason why. Cool? All right. So come in the number one spot. The first one that stands out to me, this is a uh, Penelope uh, bourbon barrel strength. And the one that I have here is 115.8 proof. What I like about Penelope's barrel strength is the fact that um, a couple of things. Number one, I love the fact that Penelope, they always use like a four grain product. So all their whiskey is always four grain. So it says right here on the front, corn, rye, uh, wheat, and malted barley. To me, that whole four grain process, it makes the whiskey experience a bit more enjoyable. It's a little bit softer, a little bit sweeter. And while it is barrel strength, and it does obviously still pack a punch, it's not on that Jack Daniels or that Elijah Craig barrel proof level. It's way more approachable from a barrel strength option, primarily because it's at a lower proof point, but then also more important because it's a little bit sweeter as a whole. But Penelope, which you can typically find almost anywhere, this barrel strength option for about $65, $70, great quality whiskey you know what you're, gonna, you're what you're gonna get and you don't have to do a whole bunch of honey so that is the number one i would say for sure by the way these five are not in order I'm just give you five different options not in order but uh penelope barrel strength numero uno all right let's go to number two i'm going to take you to a craft distillery that i love all of their whiskey but especially their barrel strength so for number two Give a little bit of love to over my good friends at Woodenville. So Woodenville out of uh, the state of Washington, great craft distillery. Um, this one, oddly enough, actually happens to be my barrel pick, but take away, honestly, even just my barrel pick, which is, by the way, special in his own category. The spicy bee's knees is what I called it. Um, take that away. Woodenville, their barrel strength is flat out amazing. So for example, mine, uh, my single barrel for Woodenville came in at 115.36 proof. So still from a proof standpoint, not that 130, 140 range. It was not super crazy, not super high rather. Um, but I love Woodenville because I think their attention to detail, the quality of whiskey that you, that you get. And when I sip it and I enjoy it neat, it's nice. It's sweet. Sometimes I have a little, some, some notes of like honey in there. Sometimes it has a little bit of like some fruit notes in there. It's definitely an approachable cast strength whiskey. Definitely very damn good. So good, I'm gonna go ahead and have a little pour. Why not? Hey, real quick, three quick easy favors. Number one, hit the like button. Number two, drop me a comment. So for everyone watching today's episode, drop a comment, let everyone know, what, give some recommendations of whiskeys that you think are cast strength that are definitely very approachable for someone who's trying to enter into the whole barrel strength, cast strength, um, let's call it category. Last but not least, please make sure you also subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you get notification each and every time I release a new episode. Cool? Cheers, everybody. Mm. Woo! 
my Woodenville pick was pretty damn good. <laughs> Me and my patrons did a great job with that one. That was a good one. Mm. Delicious. Woo! That does have tons of honey in it. And it's not a honey finish, by the way. Just a great damn barrel. All right. Coming to number three spot. And by the way, today, no asterisk. So no, no asterisk today. Coming to number three spot. So there are a lot of folks out there that obviously love bourbon. They love rye. And as they make their leap of faith into the cash strength option, they might want a rye for a cash strength. One that you can find on the shelves. Again, same price point, 65, 70, 75 hour range, right? Doesn't break the bank, right? It's not super inexpensive, but it's not over hundred dollars either, which is cool. Um, to me, and I talk about this brand a lot, but I love everything that they're doing. So this is a single barrel. This is a Sagmore Spirit. So this one came in at, what's this one here? Oh, 110 proof. So it's barrel strength, 110 proof, single barrel. Um, I think Sagmore as a brand, they're doing some great things first and foremost uh second i would say from a rye standpoint this is a great quality rye whiskey one that is cast strength but for this one it happens to be only 110 proof but it is cast strength it's a little bit on the sweeter side but again it's not going to take you out when you sip it and you enjoy it neat sagamore spirits especially their single barrels their rye whiskeys if you can find them out there absolutely grab them again very affordable and you can typically find sagamore products anywhere from like 65 maybe up to like 80 or 85 for like some of their more expensive ones but for the regular single barrel rise about 70 bucks which is not bad cool all right that is sagamore coming the number four spot oh boy mm -mm 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 -mm. the number four spot this brand i think I have probably in the last 12 to maybe yeah, almost 18 months, probably like 12 to 16 months, I've become more and more of a fan of this brand. And when I finally had a chance to try their cast strength option, at least for this bottle, I was like, it's a winner. Great whiskey. Um, to me, it's one where I think it definitely is very bold. It's vibrant stands in his own lane and i love i love honestly almost, almost everything they put out not everything but i love almost everything they put out as a whole but the number four spot a little bit more on the pricier side probably close to like around 80 85 dollars but still a really good cash strength whiskey this is redwood empire this is the lost monarch which is the blend by the way of their straight uh their straight whiskeys this one's cash strength and this one comes in at exactly what is that 112 just make it short nope 116 one, I'm sorry, 117, 117.2. This one is flat out an amazing bottle. I love on the back here, they give you the mash bill, they give you the date the uh, whiskey was bottled, uh, even says here on the back here as well, aged at least three years, so you kind of know exactly what range you're in, but honestly, great quality whiskey. Again, it's slightly on the sweeter side, but from a palate standpoint and a finish standpoint, it goes down very just, easy coasting great quality whiskey again that 117 proof range great quality whiskey now this one you have to find a little bit harder in more places you have to look a little bit harder rather it's a little bit harder to find for sure but if you do find it absolutely great quality whiskey each and every time you have it let me get another little sip of this uh woodenville mm. wow wow <laughs> That is just ridiculously good. All right, that was the number four, the um, Lost Monarch. All right, come in the number five spot. I saved this one for last for a couple reasons. Number one, definitely on the pricier side for like for their, their, their barrel proof whiskey, definitely on the pricier side, but I do not believe I've ever had a bad bottle from this brand. I am a major fan of this brand. Um, typically if you find their single barrels, I've seen them at stores, you can get them online, certain places. Um, but whenever you find this brand, it might be like in that 90 to even a hundred dollar range for their single barrels, like, especially like in different like liquor stores you go to and so forth. But the quality of the whiskey is flat out amazing. I love what they're putting out. Each and every single barrel is always going to be very unique, but I find their whiskey is a bit more fruit forward. Sometimes you might even have like uh like it might even be a bit more like caramel, like just extremely caramel and oak for it as well. But it's always 
at a typically, even though it's cast strength, it's at less than 120 proof. Typically, right, every single barrel is going to be different, but I haven't seen a lot that are above 120 proof. So it's nice from that standpoint, but the quality of whiskey it is just so elegant and refined. Major fan of this brand. So this is a Peerless Bourbon. This is a single barrel. This one comes at 116.2 proof. I can't even count, honestly, how many bottles of Peerless single barrel bourbons and rye that I own and or have had also. Way too many to count. Let's just say for a barrel strength product, they put out one of the most best, let's call it approachable barrel strength whiskeys out there from the standpoint of that it's fantastic whiskey. It's going to be completely unique and different and it's not going to, you know, have that, uh, that heavyweight kind of take you out it's going to be a, such a refined um from the nose to the palate to the finish peerless peerless did i say peerless hey folks until the next time as we see in this courtroom peace cheers and most important salute take care